Welcome back, y'all. Thanks for staying tuned and watching a live o come to life. Finally done with the boat yard. Got the whole day to decompress yesterday and get the boat back in order. And now we're gonna go get some groceries and go to REI. Yeah, I wanna go to REI to get some ascender, descender, kind of whatever. I need to talk to some people. I'm not really a rock climber person or a rope guy in general, but we're gonna figure out how to get up the mast kind of solo with some stuff over there, hopefully. And I love rock climbing, but I am not that advanced that I know all of the answers to his questions. So he's gonna go to REI. I'm gonna go to Three of the Joes. And here we are on another gloomy May gray San Diego day. Or, just kidding, Marina Del Rey. We moved. <laughs> <laughs> from Trader Joe's? All the pretzel things. <laughs> Chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels. <laughs> Regular peanut butter pretzels. Uh, plain pretzels. Jalapeno flavored pretzels. <laughs> Any pretzels you got, we'll save you. Right, pretzels for Connor. Check and check. Eggs, pineapple, apricots for me, check. All right, back to the boat. REI fail. Trader Joe's success. Connor was hoping to talk to someone in REI, and nobody talked to him. The whole reason we go to stores is so that we can talk to people who know what they're talking about. And you can't talk to anyone who knows what they're talking about, if at all, anymore. LA, it's Home too Depot, busy. REI, everything. So, it's annoying. <laughs> There's just too many people here in Marina Del Rey. There's not enough workers. But hey, at least we remembered our shoes. <laughs> Your six pack. Trying to get sponsored around here. <laughs> Trying to get a modeling gig in LA. He's just gonna go. After. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so we keep glancing at this boat because we really like the arch there, it would be perfect for a solar arch. So we kind of have been going around the whole harbor, scoping out ideas and that is one that has a very similar shape of our boat, so I think it could really work. So, still going around just inspecting all the solar arches. What do we think of this one? It's nice, I like it. Ours wouldn't work exactly the same because they have the trigger scoop, but what is that? Maybe one and a half inch steel there. Davits are nice. I like the double bar in the back. Seems extra sturdy. Groms are getting after it. <laughs> Definitely like that a lot, that but a oh, our stern's not that wide. Good morning, it's project time here over on a live boat sailing. Now Vina is working hard on her art tan and I art. Just solar. <laughs> Completely Look at that. that specifications. <laughs> Very Not dimensionally Very accurate. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. And there it is in real life. And here is my kind of hack job replica of her drawing. Um, I tried my best, but nothing's going to compare to that kind of skill on the drawing there. Anyways, I just used EMT and zip ties. Nice and sturdy there. I think we can throw a solar panel up on it right now, right? Go sailing, test it out. I wanted to kind of get a good idea of what we want, how much height we're gonna need. Here, Malvino will show you how much height we need. Well, this is our test right okay. here. This, I was a little bit worried about having it too close if I'm gonna hit my head. When I'm coming can you jump a little higher? Step. You want? 
<laughs> get a nice little blue bird hitting <laughs> your head on it. There's a lot of things to think about here. At first we were thinking about hanging it way further and staying on the outside of this, but we're gonna have two panels. So it'll just kind of straddle the back stay here. This will have to get, this will probably have to get framed out around that because otherwise you'd have to come here and weld it around the back stay. Or I guess we could take the back stay off and then thread it through, but makes it a little bit more complicated. And we probably want to frame there anyway so we can attach that side of the panel all the way down and give it a little bit more stability. Still trying to figure out if this is too high. I like the height because our idea is we're gonna put surfboard straps underneath here. So that's gonna add another few inches here. So we want that clearance. But yeah, pretty happy we tried this. Get a little bit better feel for it before we just leave it in the hands of the guy. Now I get to show him kind of what we're thinking. I'm sure he's gonna do a lot better job than this, I hope. Initially, we were kind of thinking it would be cool to have the solar panels cover the whole thing. But then we put that out there, and this is why I wanted to do this, is so that we could kind of see it. And that far out for to cover the whole dinghy is like that far, which basically creates a whole nother sail for us. And I think it's going to hurt our performance. We shortened it up a little bit. Now this 33 inches to the center of the dinghy, which is where the, you know, we'll hoist it up from is more of the center. And then that will still clear this perfect. That's right where it's at. It looks a lot kind of more balanced. So I think we're gonna stick with that one and we'll just have to, you know, dump water out of the dinghy when it rains too much. And that's why he was taking into consideration how far we can push it back towards the bow. So if he takes a step right here off here, if he would hit his head, but seems like his head's clear. And this will be a super nice covered area too. We were thinking about getting like two beanbag chairs and we have this nice little seat people can sit on on this end. So this is almost like a bench in itself. And if we had two beanbags there, then we can have a little ourselves a little shade party. And there's a whole dungeon back here too, so that'll be... We'll just stick all the kids down there. That's where daycare is. <laughs> Throw your kids down there. We'll... <laughs> That's where you put kids, right? All right, guys. We had this like really nice long discussion and art session and design with our solar panels. And as you probably remember, if you saw our video with our dockside chats, we got quoted 18,000 for that. So ah! we decided to abort that idea and we're redesigning and figuring out something new. Connor is gonna do a great explanation right here for you. <laughs> so I've seen studies with the new bifacial solar panels that they actually are more efficient vertical than, than horizontal and flat out absorbing all the sun from the top. What happens then is they end up getting a little bit hotter and with them horizontal, it keeps them cool and the solar panels perform much more efficiently when they're cool. So we have decided, at least for the time being, until we can get an affordable solar arch, that we're gonna, I'm, I just got the do-it-yourself little couplings and connectors for T's and 90's and everything. And so we're just gonna get some hard pipe and couple that together, make some hard lifelines on both sides here. And the, from my measurements, it looks like we can fit about 600 watts on each rail here up until the opening. That should be plenty. And then we also get less windage and kind of a little bit more kind of protection here from waves crashing over. Yeah, I think it's gonna work all right. And at 600 watts on each side, that's actually more power than we were planning on putting on top of the whole solar arch. So we end up with extra power. And then if we ever do get 
the solar arch, then we could add on to it and have, you know, 2000 watts of solar, which would be epic. We could literally sell power to people in other anchorages. We might still put one on top of the dinghy davits. We got the dinghy davits for two grand instead of 18 grand for the solar arch. So it makes sense to me. Yeah. Last but not least that I was going to add on to that is one day we're hoping to have kids and I think it would be a really great way to protect them from falling overboard unless they're being bad then we'll drag them overboard <laughs> just kidding you know we're joking on all these things that we say just like the locker up here it is a great locker lots of space I would never put kids in there I used I used to be a preschool teacher that is not how I roll unless they're bad, <laughs> unless they're bad. <laughs> Connor is just ordering supplies and I'm sure we'll do a whole video of how we're connecting it all together but for now that was how we were kind of bouncing around the harbor and getting ideas right you got to go find some inspiration with all the people that already have panels and they're already doing it although we were surprised around LA a lot of people must not they must be slip people because there's not too many solar panels but we had a good idea and now we're gonna keep on keeping on with our new idea Connor is working on something new. Well, I'm sure you'll see a whole project on this. Not really a whole project's worth, but just got this little fillet table. Now it's inside the rod holder, so I had to buy an extra rod holder too. But that'll be a great little addition to the stern here. And just don't cut any fish on the. <laughs> don't get Starling. confused which one's the, the <laughs> actually tray. thought that was a fillet table already. So. <laughs> I was going to say something, now I forgot. <laughs> Yay!